Hey guys, my name is Sadman and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to write a personal statement for your UCAS application. So let's get started. Before I begin, let me give you an overview of my educational background. So I have completed BTEC Level 3 Extended Diploma in ICT from my college, while well, ICT or IT is the same thing basically. But yeah, ICT or IT from my college and that's basically two year course. So it's kind of similar to A level. So A level two year, BTEC Level 3 Extended Diploma is two year as well. And uh, well, I have achieved a D star, D star, D star, which is distinction star, distinction star, distinction star. And that's basically the maximum grade you can achieve in a BTEC uh, level 3 qualification. Which university did you apply to? Well, as you know, I'm doing computer science, that's why I have five choices. So, yeah, I applied to five different universities for computer science for the same degree, basically. And these were Royal Holloway, Brunel. West London, City, and Queen Mary. And I got offer from uh, four of them, which are Royal Holloway, uh, Brunel, West London, and City. And I got one rejection from Queen Mary. So that's one thing. But just leave it aside. I don't know, for some reason I got rejected. Although I met their, uh, their grade. Okay, so I got this four offer from uh, this four university for the same degree, of course. For That was computer science, that's plain computer science. No uh, industry here or no anything. So computer science the response from university were pretty fast and basically uh, within one week that I applied I already had two offers from a uh, Royal Holloway and uh, I think uh, Brunel yeah so these two offer within the first week and yeah within uh, two more weeks I, I had uh, two more offers and one rejection of course so basically we can say within uh, like three weeks I had all of the answers and because I applied very very early so I think I applied uh, sometime in October that's the reason of why I got offer so quick right now I'm studying computer science at City University of London and this is a three-year degree and currently I'm on my first year studying here now that you have understood me a bit better let me give you some tips that you can follow first tip know what you want to study Guys, when you're writing your personal statement, do not ever, ever, ever be generic. Be very, very specific to your degree, to your study, to your field. If you want to study computer science, don't talk about dentistry or something else. Be very, very specific to your degree. This is basically a problem. So if you're applying to the same university or different university for different degrees, yeah, for instance, that can be very, very challenging. So you have to write one personal statement that is relevant to all of your degree. And that's very, very hard. A few of my friends did apply for different degrees. And that was very challenging for them because they had to write one personal statement that relevant to all of their degree of choice. Therefore, if you are uh, choosing different degrees, make sure to try to cover as much as possible about yourself, about your degree of choice. So yeah, uh, that's one thing. Also, know what you want to study very well because guys, these personal statements are normally read by your lecturer. So they are professional people and they know very, very deep about your subject. So whether that's computer science, whether that's, I don't know, data science, whether that's uh, mechanic or uh, biomedicine whatever so they are professional people and they know basically everything about your, your field of study and that's why I show them that you're knowledgeable willing to learn have a research about that field that you want to study for your uh, three four year uh, of your life let me just give you an example so when I applied for computer science what I did I just went for a few universities so like uh, Queen Mary, Royal Holloway, uh, City and yeah so this university for instance and I looked at different modules that they're doing. So what module they're doing, uh, what sort of things are similar to those uni. So I just picked up a few modules. One of them was a database and web development. So I just talked about my interest on studying database, studying big data, how data works and things like those. So I just picked up a few modules and talked about them. So do make sure to find out all the modules from all university that you're interested and compare them, see what are similar. And uh, yeah, so if you find something similar, talk about them. So that could be database, that could be anything, machine learning, well, I'm not sure machine learning, but algorithm, for instance, and talk about it, what you know about algorithm. So uh, what sort of interest did it give you? And what book have you uh, read in the past about algorithm? And by doing so, they will understand that you are knowledgeable and you know what you are doing. Make your personal statement relevant to your degree. Say for instance, if you want to study computer science, uh, include your skills, work experience, and any extracurricular activities if you've done, all relevant to your degree. And uh, don't include things like, uh, let's say if you have worked in Primark, don't mention that on your personal statement, because no one really cares <laughs> where did you work, unless it's relevant to your degree, of course. At uh, that time, definitely include it. But if, if it's not relevant to your degree, then just chunk it. 
<laughs> then just keep it for yourself but don't include it on your personal statement find a good intro for your personal statement guys lecture are human being like us and they probably have read let's say 50 to 100 uh, personal statement before your one that's why do not include the boring uh, usual line uh, that is uh, since I was born or very young age I like computer science this and this and that so don't do that make sure you start with a very catchy and a very pumpy intro make sure not to lie well at least not at the beginning just to give you an example let me read my one of course my one is not the best so uh, in this modern and high-tech world I always ask myself how things work if I don't understand something then I deconstruct it to get better understanding and see how the individual element make up the big picture so this is my first sentence as you can probably hear that is about me but there's something that happening right now or let's say a few years ago but not too long ago not when i was kid when i was young when i was little when i was not even born so it's happening right now and right now i'm interested next structure structure is not very important but i think it's a good idea to write something new about you in each paragraph so let me just show you my uh, personal statement. So um, as you can see on my first paragraph, I'm writing just introduction about me. So who am I and why I want to study computer science. Uh, next paragraph, I'm talking about my course and how it's relevant to the degree I want to study. So I talked about procedural programming and then uh, Visual Studio IDE and then web development and other stuff. Yeah, so basically a bit of uh, most of the module that I liked for my course. And then on the next paragraph I'm talking about a book that I have read so I read about two books so the first one was algorithm to live by Brian Christian and uh, Tom Griffiths and next one I read also the dark net inside digital underworld mainly I read these two books just to write my personal statement <laughs> guys and how did I know which book to read all I did I went in their website and look at the uh, reading list <laughs> that they provided and I just picked up two books with less pages and a bit interesting to read and that's what i did i, I read uh, these two books and i i talked about it guys by the way i'm i'm quite lying about it so the first book uh, algorithm to live this one i i read it so yeah this is the actual one but this one uh the dark net inside digital underworld this i didn't read it all i've done i went on google and look at some summary and uh, yeah so i read the summary and somehow <laughs> just wrote uh one line about it you can't lie although it's not a good thing but just don't lie too much just a little bit and yeah that's what i've done okay on the next paragraph i'm talking about my work experience so this is a volunteering work experience that i've done and uh, yes i'm talking about what i've done on my workplace so these are so this is all relevant to my degree in fact i've done it technician i can say work experience and that's about my work experience okay on the next uh, paragraph i'm talking about some role that i had at my college so what i've done aside studying here i literally lied basically i did enroll for student ambassador a role for one year which I never ever attended. All these four lines are basically just pure lie, pure lie, guys. I was student ambassador and I have developed communication and team working skills and blah, blah, blah. So these are pure lie, guys. Do make sure to do something interesting at your college or sixth form and include that. Doesn't matter if you have uh, participated or not, just write about it. That was me purely lying for the whole these four lines. And finally, I'm concluding here and I'm just saying that I know how tough programming can be, but still I'm very, very confident and I'll succeed in uh, this field, and blah, blah, blah. One thing guys to notice, at the very last line, I'm saying that uh, my prospect is to work with professional and making future career in data science. Talk about something that you wanna be doing in future. So they know your past, your present, what you're doing right now and your future. So that's one thing guys, talk about your past, present, future. Give a lot of example. Say for instance, on the part that I lied about student ambassador, they know what the role is of a student ambassador, but I still mentioned this. I, I said I like attending parent evening, like doing that, like doing that. So always make sure to include a lot of examples. So like this, like that. Make sure to include lots of examples. Whatever you're doing, work experience, extracurricular activities, or any skills don't just tell them that you're good at that good at that good at that but show them giving appropriate example say for instance if you have built a website for your i don't know for your neighbor or for your uncle uh, for your client whatever uh, tell them about it so what issue you had building the website and how did you fix it so that would be very good example also if you're learning something new for instance ios development in swift uh, like me in that case talk about it uh, like uh, what sort of resources you're using and uh, what you expect to create next
Next, include few books that you have read in the past that are relevant to your degree. So say for instance, if you have studied computer science, do make sure to read, check the reading list that they provide you and just find a couple of books from there that you find interesting, maybe it would be nice to read and read them if you have time, otherwise just look at the summary online and just talk about it in your, briefly in a, in a sentence. Guys, a very important don't. Don't ever, ever, ever ask for feedback to everyone. So always, always, always make sure to find a couple of teachers, a better one. So find one teacher that you really like and always show your personal statement to he or her. This is because if you ask, let's say, uh, two or three teachers, you'll get two or three different opinions, two or three different feedback. And that's very hard to fix. Even though you try to follow all of their feedback, fix it and show them again, they'll give you again different feedbacks, different opinions. Some might like, some might don't. And yeah, so that's basically a proper hustle, a proper mess. So make sure to get one teacher to give feedback. Or if you want, you can show to two different teachers, but that's two different teachers, no more than that. Always talk about your past, present and future. So what you have done in the past, what you're currently doing and what you're going to be doing, let's say, in a five year time. Not all your past, not your future, also present. Yeah, so try to include all of these three parts. And finally, don't worry too much because university do consider a lot of different things, not all your personal statements. So they consider your grades, personal statement and reference, a lot of different things. So don't just worry about it. And that's not the end of the world. Everyone have passed uh, that stage. So guys, go for it. Don't worry. Be happy. And uh, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Goodbye.